Hey, Shalom, my king, your brother, Kanan, back at you with the truth. Start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who are well and teach one, leading Israel by a great example to this day. Peace and salutation go to the elect, teaching and preaching his truth and his righteousness, purity, and sincerity, and waiting on Yahweh Shai, whom the world entity called Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom, my king. All right, I'm going to make a uh, quick lesson on uh, keeping uh, keeping the temple clean. The temple is basically your house. Your house is your body, all right? Body of, your body free from uh, uh, sins, okay? Just uh, trying to keep your temple clean for your house shot when, when, when he returned, all right? <clears throat> we ought to pray more, repent daily, and... Just get involved in the scriptures, all right. Don't be, don't be too, uh, too, don't be too wicked to the flesh, all right. But in cases you have to feed the flesh, okay. You have to feed the flesh, and you also have to feed the spirit. It's, it's a matter of balance, all right. You gotta know, you gotta know your limit on everything, all right. That's why the scripture said, be, be temperate, all right, in all things. Let me see if I could grab that scripture for we brothers. All right. All right, because there's only so much we could do in the flesh. All right, but what matter? What matters most is the spirit. But you have to you have to uh, be balanced with both of them. All right. Don't be overly wicked with the flesh, and don't be overly spiritual. All right, it could it could turn it could turn off. It could turn off a lot of uh, brothers, okay? Just be mindful on how you operate in both in the spirit and the flesh, all right? Let me see, temperate and all that. Just put the word temperate. All right, First Corinthians chapter nine, verse. Let's start at verse twenty-four. It says, "Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiving the prize? And what's that prize that we're trying to receive? The kingdom of heaven. Okay, we are we are running in a race. All right, to obtain what salvation." And also the kingdom, kingdom of heaven. All right, who's gonna be ruling the kingdom of heaven? Who in the world is he called Jesus Christ? Named Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach is gonna be ruling, uh, the ruling, all right, the new kingdom of heaven that that's uh, approaching. Okay, he's a so-called Negro. All right, has woolly hair. All right, and uh, he's the only begotten son of the heavenly Father named Yahweh. Okay, so we are running a race to. Joint hairs with our Lord Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, we are predestined from the foundation of the heaven. All right, foundation means uh, established. All right, the established powers of Yahweh Shai. Okay, um, meaning we we are those angels <clears throat> that Yahweh Shai are right, preordained, pre preordained. All right, from the start. All right. He made us the first gods of the of, of the universe. So let's look up the word temperate. If you're gonna look it up in uh, the Greek, because it's in the New Testament. Because in the New Testament, all right, which is this the continuation of the Old Testament, all right. And, uh, they began to speak speak Greek, all right. And the New Testament truly starts when uh, Yahweh Shai saved the elect. Temperate definition. Okay. All right. We have to watch how we uh, uh drinking. We have to watch how we moving. All right. We have to watch. Uh, we have to watch the uh the excessive amount of pride that kind of comes out. Cause yes, yeah, we're in, we're in the flesh, but we have to be mindful of these uh, of the things we do. Okay. We have to be we have to be temperate in our in our speech. All right. Don't say too much. Don't say too little. 
okay keep keep your answers simple clean to the point okay and be honest all right that's a very important thing in this ministry being honest all right with yourself first and foremost as i speak for myself be honest with yourself all right and be honest with the, uh, uh with your surroundings okay be honest with the brother brotherhood truth be told okay because we edify one another we meaning we build up each other's spirits all right and not only that we're, we're, we we educate one another okay all right because the lord have given us this understanding we haven't gotten this understanding by ourselves but was it for the spirit of yahweh by shimei and shai all right and the, and the teachers and the and the teachers that he set up before us all right we wouldn't know anything all right so we have to thank Yahweh Bashim and Shai, all right, for this word and for the teachers he have set up, all right, from the apostles and elders, all right, who've been laboring before us, uh, even what, since the time we was in the womb, most of us, uh, even to now, okay? So temperate, relating, relating to or denoting a re region or climate Characterized by mild temper temperatures, that's not the temper we want. Showing verse uh, verse two says showing moderation, showing moderation or self restraint. Okay, it says showing moderation, so being moderation in everything we do. All right. Okay, just having a uh, humility. All right, just and we go into the word humility. All right. Let me just get let me just get the definition for you guys. Alright, humility. A modest or low view of one's own importance. Humbleness. Just being humble. Okay. So we we, we are not important. Yahweh Bashim Shai is important. So this is all about Yahweh Shai's. Yahweh Shai's word. Alright. We are just vessels to teach. Alright. To teach um, one another, all right, and to teach the uh, the the elect, all right, the potential elect, the, the the potential elect, this word, okay. Um, it says, "Know ye not that they which run in a race, all but one has received the prize? So run that ye may obtain." We what trying to what, attain the uh, the kingdom of heaven. All right. It says, "Every man that striveth for the masteries is temperate in all things." Okay, so every man that striveth for the masteries of what this truth. All right, study to show yourself approved is temperate in all things. Now they do do it to obtain a a corruptible crown, but we in an uncorruptible crown we obtain trying to uh, obtain. All right, everlasting rulership. All right, and that's the incorruptible, incorruptible crown. The corruptible crown is these NBA players getting rings and NFL players getting a a, a Super Bowl championship. It's temperate, all right, because that that could get destroyed, all right. Because you you win one time, but you got to do it all over again to try to obtain another uh, a chat another ring. You know that, so it's it's not a forever thing, all right. But to uh, obtain all right, the uncorruptible crown being uh, in a rulership chair with Yahweh Shai. All right, that's going to be forever. All right, you don't have to do any more championships. The the this, we are in the championship uh, uh, run uh, race right now. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be us against whoever trying to stop us from. Uh, obtaining that what the crown the kingdom of heaven the, the crown of life all right the crown forever okay so that's why we ought to have to keep this faith stay strong and stay focused and concentrate on that prize which is the kingdom of heaven okay we cannot let uh the the things of this world sidetrack us or distract us from from the prize not even not your family not your woman not work Nothing shall distract us from attaining the kingdom of heaven. We go. We have to. We have to 
have this heavy spirit of denying the 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 the, the works of the uh, the works of the wicked and their and their poison juice and the works of the wicked with their uh, AI jab, man. All right, the the the, the mark of the, the mark of the teeth. All right, we have to avoid that with the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashiman Shot. Okay. It says every man that strives for the masteries is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible crown. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so I fight, not as one that beareth the air, be, not as one that beat the, the air. So we are what? Trying to get trying to obtain the kingdom of heaven. Alright, obtain spiritual power, alright? Everlasting life. All right, our own peace, state of mind, sanity, harmony. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go into um. How to clean your temple. Read Psalms 51. All right, and you should um. As I speak for myself and brothers, should read the, the scripture daily if possible or whenever you can if you feel down in the spirit or you feel like you have committed sins all right this is the scripture to go to all right psalms 51 all right psalms 51 let's start at verse one all right to the chief magician a psalm of David which psalm is song song of David when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone into Bathsheba because David had committed adultery okay and he asked the Lord to forgive him alright have mercy upon me O Yahweh Bashi Mashai according to thy loving kindness according unto the multitude of thy tender mercy see the Lord knows he knows our mind. He knows when we're going off. He he knows we're gonna go off before we go off. Okay. He knows when we're gonna. Uh, he knows when we're going to get rebuked before we get rebuked. So that's why we. That's why this scripture is so important to go to because it washes us clean. Because Yahweh Shai, when he comes back, he want he he's want he want to find faith on the earth and he want to find clean temples. He's not dealing. He's not dealing with. All right, uh, a, a doubtful temple. All right, a temple that has you know, potential demons on it. Okay, have mercy upon me, O Yahweh Shemel Shai, O Power, according to Thy loving kindness, according to the multitude of Thy tender mercy. Blot out my transgressions. And what's transgression? Of the, what's transgression? All right, is breaking the law, statute, commandments of the Lord. All right, for sin is the transgression of the law. All right. So um, it says, verse two: Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Okay, for I acknowledge my transgression. We ask the Lord how and how the Lord washes you by with this word. I'm going to get that in a few. It says, for I, it says, for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me against thee only. Who Yahweh about Shemuel Shai? Have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight? That thou mightest be justified, so let the Lord know the sin that you have committed, or let the Lord know the things, or right, that has been affecting your life and and has uh, made you feel down in the spirit. All right, so you ask the Lord to clean you. All right, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest. Be clear when thou judgest. But the Lord knows knows your mind before. Knows your minds and you know what you're gonna do before you do it. But oh, I shape it in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, all right, behold, thou desirest truth, all right, not lies, truth in the inward parts, and the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom, all right. And wisdom is a substance, it, it, it's uh, is use of good judgment. All right, it's the use of ju good judgment against a world that's wicked. All right, we need wisdom to navigate through this world. All right, is it the right thing to do? Is it the wrong thing to do? Okay, 
The Lord gave us this wisdom, all right, to navigate in a society that doesn't have wisdom, okay? Or their wisdom is, a, is preying upon wickedness, right? So, um, behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and sin that my mother could see me. Behold, thou desires truth in the inward parts, verse 6, and the in the hidden part, thou make me to know wisdom. All right, verse 7, here's the point. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Okay, let's look at that word. Let's look at the word clean. Look at the word clean. Tahar. <laughs> tahar. Just like other parts of Tahar. <laughs> Alright, it's Tahar. To be clean, be pure, to be clean, to be clean, to purify, be clean morally, may clean, to cleanse and purify physically, ceremonially, morally, pronounce. Clean to perform the ceremony of cleaning, cleans it. So the Lord is what cleaning, cleaning our mind with this word. All right, clean our mind with this word, and I shall be clean. Wash me. All right, brainwash. Okay, and make and I shall be whiter than snow, meaning pure. All right, sticking in the truth. All right, For, let's jump down to verse. Uh, uh, let's let's jump down to verse nine. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. So we ask in the Lord to forgive us of our iniquity, meaning our father's iniquity of what they did and our today iniquity. Okay. Verse 10, create in me a new heart. All right. And that ultimately that's going to happen in the kingdom of heaven. All right. When the Lord is going to change us. All right. Give us a new heart. All right. Meaning a new mind. And with the law, statute, commandments, downloading our inward part. But on this side. All right, just uh, clean our mind and to stay into the truth. All right, rule of our spirit, you know. Okay, all right. Um, it says, creating me a new, a creating me a clean heart, old power, and renew a right spirit within me. All right, uh, renew, all right, a right spirit, meaning, all right, the things I've used to do at, in the world, all right. Rule over my spirit to do righteous things. All right, not for me not to be a nigga anymore. All right, make me uh, make me a a a, a good spiritual soldier for you. You know, Yahweh Bashem and Shai. All right, that's what we ask the Lord to do: make us good spiritual soldiers. All right, we'll begin with the elect. Okay, now for you women. All right, asking the Lord to be a better, to be a better, a uh, potential wife. Uh, for for one of the uh the elect men. Okay? Ask the Lord to clean you. Alright? Out you know, asking the Lord to out the uh, the jealousy demon and the a uh, pride demon. Alright? As and just just like us, we ask the Lord to out the, the, the pride demon, the egotistic demon. Okay. Cause the Lord is not dealing with dealing with uh prideful people. He hates a proud look. Okay, and that's Esau. You leave that to Esau in two thirds. All right, they're gonna get destroyed on this side. Previous judgments going on. Okay, so let's read. Um, let's read as I promised. James four. Um. What was it? I should know the word. Let me see. Word. Is it James 4? Oh, it's Ephesians. It's Ephesians 5. All right. All right. Let's start at verse 24. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, we have to, we're subject, we're subjections, 
All right, we are subjected unto our Lord Yahweh Shai. All right, so if you already set, if you already have a whole order set up, all right, from the beginning with our head apostles, we have to go under that subjection. All right, and whatever commands is being told through them to us, we must follow that order. Okay, it says therefore, as the church is subject unto Hamashiach, let the wives be to their own husbands and everything. All right, husbands, love your wives, and even as Hamashiach also loved the church and gave himself for it. Here's the point, that he might sanctify and cleanse it, it with the washing of the water, which is the knowledge, by the word. So the word is what cleans us, all right? The word is what keeps us in this truth. When brothers is teaching, all right, we are getting washed with the word, all right? Meaning our understanding is growing. All right, and our minds is getting clean while our understanding is growing. All right, um, first Peter, and this is milk scriptures, matter of fact, let's go to Acts 3 and 19. Acts 3 19. Then we're going to get First Peter. Look at Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the time of refreshing, with the washing of the word, all right, the time of refreshing, right, he gave us the what? The spirit of remembrance, stir up your, 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 uh, your pre-over minds, which is the washing of the word, shall refreshing. All right, shall come from the presence of Yahweh Shai, from the presence of the Lord, all right, Yahweh Shai, Shai, and he shall send Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which is before was preached unto you. So the Lord sent us what? The Rakakadash, that comforter, all right? Repent to what? Being a Hebrew Israelite, all right? And unlearn everything that you learn of this world, okay? Unlearn everything you learn and Grow by what? This truth. Let me see. First Peter. Um, what is it? Second Peter? Uh, first Peter. I think it's three. Let me see. Give me a moment. First Peter chapter 2 Let's start at verse 1 Wherefore laying aside all malice And this is how you re repent And being converted to being a Hebrew Israelite Alright and, and grown by what The sincere word Alright it says Wherefore laying aside all malice Everything that you used to do as a nigga Or, 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 or a woman in the world Alright Wherefore laying aside all malice Meaning malice goes into evil But let's look up the word anyway Malice Right, but we are, we are intellectual beings. We are the highest level men, women, men, women, and children on earth. So we we ought to conduct ourselves as so. Okay. All right, and I'm not talking Esau, uh, sophisticated speech. But some brothers is good at the sophisticated speech. What I'm saying is, is. We are we are sons of the living power, sons and daughters of the living power. So we ought to uh, elevate ourselves as so. Okay, but what this world does, they do everything in uh in wickedness, everything hypocritical. All right, everything in deception. We ought to deal honestly, in truth. All right, in purity. Okay. Malice, the intention or desire to do evil, and that's what we used to do in the world. When we come to this truth, we don't have that intention to do evil. But we in the flesh, and the flesh is wicked. Our spirit want to do right, but our flesh tend to go off at times. But you will have to resist the works of the flesh at times. But you can feed the flesh, all right? Good, uh, uh, 
You can feed the flesh good activities. All right? That's beneficial for the flesh. Don't destroy the flesh of overeating. All right? Try to uh, uh, cut down your eating. All right, two meals a day. All right? And pray. Two meals a day and you're praying, man. Okay? All right? Malice is the attention to do evil. And all guile and hypocrisy and envies and all evil speakers basically being a nigga. All right, or, or a wicked woman. It says, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk, meaning you, you just, you know, just, so, just like you have your newborn baby. All right, or when we were newborn, all right, coming out of our mom's womb, we wanted the what? The, the sincere milk. We wanted that, the good milk. And it had to taste good. It had to taste right. Make us not throw up. All right. Desire the sincere milk of the word. Remember, we're babies, and the Lord is feeding us what was not your understanding. That's our milk and bread. All right, and he's giving us soft bread. Then, as you get older, the Lord is going to give you small meat <laughs> that ye may grow thereby. All right. So we're going to go by the word, meaning watching these daily videos and and, and reading and praying and. Uh, being being brotherly, okay, and, and dealing righteously as Yahweh as Yahweh Shai did dealt when he was here two thousand years ago. Trying to be like our Lord, you have to walk in the in the, in the, uh, in the statues of our Lord Yahweh Shai. If so, be ye tested taste be ye. It says, if so, be ye have tasted that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is gracious and tasted tasted go into experience. Let's look up the word tasted. We're going to look it up in the Greek. It says taste. Perceive or experience the flavor of. The flavor of this word is pure. Like honey. Milk. Alright. Perceive. Discern. Make out. Okay. So it goes in. Taste. Taste goes in experience. Perceive. Alright. Make out. Distinguish. Differentiate. Meaning the Lord gave us what? He gave us the spirit of discernment. Um, we're gonna look up the. Uh, oh, Slakia. Let's just look it up for edification's sake. Taste. This is Gomai. Goyom. Strong's G, 1089. Gayomai. Gool. To taste or try out a flavor of, to taste, perceive the flavor or partake. To feel, make trial, make trial of. So we're going through the trial trialing of our faith experience to take food take to take nourishment eat eat what this word okay all right verse 4 says to whom coming uh, as unto a lively stone as a unto a living stone this allowed indeed of men all right resisting the works of men and following yahweh shai but the chosen of yahweh shai and precious Ye are as lively, ye also as lively stone are built up a spiritual house, holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices. Us going on in the highways and hedges, acceptable to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai by Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. Okay, so we have to conduct and, and uh, conduct ourselves as spiritual beings for Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Just being in the spirit, but not too much in the spirit. Okay. You know, you don't want to be over, over, uh, over righteous over much. Why should you destroy yourself? No, you want to be overly wicked. You know, why does you don't want the sun to go down on you? All right, roughly paraphrasing. So it's just a matter of being temperate in all things. All right. But yeah, you know, hey, we need some for flesh. We're in Babylon the Great. Everything's wicked. But remember to uh, uh, remember that conduct. Of what Yahweh Hashem have already set up, because right, it was prophets before us. 
All right, as Jeremiah 28 and 8 said, prophet, uh, the prophet before me and before thee of old, I prophesied against many countries. Again. So we, this word is our, is a continuation. All right, and we just living out the end of the end of another empire. All right, or another rulership. Okay. And I'm gonna just end it. Uh, I'm gonna end it with uh, Colossians thirteen uh, three. It's all right. Um, Colossians three. And the start of uh, verse 12 Put on therefore as the elect of Yahweh Bashmian Shai, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind. All right, not getting caught into the world and uh, and, and their false philosophy and their false philosophy have come with different doctrines of every angle. All right, because that's just that's causing confusion. And Babylon the Great is a, a representation of confusion. The Lord is not an author of confusion, He's of peace and power. All right, straightforward. All right, and, and uh, uh, manly, okay. But this place is uh, effeminate. There's nothing but effeminate spirits here, okay. This is put on therefore as the elect of Yahweh Bashimel Shai, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. All right, just going through your hell and dealing with it as a man. Right, that's why the scripture says, show yourself as men. All right, don't be complaining about to every brother about. Your, your problems and you know, I mean it's good to have a conversation but try to maintain all right maintain yourself all right let that be between you and your how about Shemel Shai and the angels all right wherever you're going through you pray to the Lord or you pray to the Lord for forgiveness all right and, and ask the Lord to rule over your spirit and ask the Lord to uh just make me uh, clear my way all right pray goes into beg okay and ask the Lord to make me be a better man. All right, in this truth and outside the truth. Okay. It says, um, "Long suffering, forbearing one another, forgiving one another." All right. If any man have a quarrel against any, so the Yahweh said, "What? All right. If if you offend your brother, uh, forgive him. What? Uh, uh, seven times seven. Uh, seven times seventy. Seven meaning always forgive your brother. Okay." Right? If any man have a quarrel against any, even, but if they're not speaking according to Yahweh Bashim Shai's word, a, uh, depart from them. All right, withdraw from every brother that walk this world, as the scripture would say. All right, if any man have a quarrel against any, as even Hamashiach forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is love, love the brotherhood, which is the bond of perfectness. Okay, we try and be like Yahweh Shai, who was perfect, who was that perfect lamb for Yahweh. And we are trying to be perfect sheep for Yahweh Shai. Are we trying to be what? Spotless and blameless. I might get that scripture after. Let and let the peace of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai rule in your hearts to to the which also ye are called in one body. Alright, so if the if the uh part of the body is offending, alright, offending the effect of the body. Part of the body is offending the effect of the body. The Lord, the Lord is gonna what? Either cut it off or try to heal it. All right, and just regrow something new. It's possible. Anything is possible. With Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. And be ye thankful. Let the word of Yahweh Hamashiach dwell in you richly. And the, what this wisdom is, what? All right, is is um better than the choice of rubies. All right, it's richly. It says, in, in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and singing with the grace in your hearts to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Shai. And how we do it is by these videos, these sit downs, these lessons. Okay? So th this is what comforts our spirits daily. And this is what, all right, teaches us how to uh, be on a higher level. Okay, this is a higher level of knowledge, and many are not going to get this knowledge. Okay, so that's why we ought to be thankful to Yahweh Shemesh for this truth.
I said, what I said was gonna get, um, yeah, I forget. Uh, Salakia. And that's what, that's another thing why we gotta be changed, cause, uh, we, man, we, we forget easily. <laughs> we forget things, uh, man. So it's gonna get. Well, uh, I'm gonna end it with one more. I'm gonna end it with Ephesians. We're going to end with Ephesians 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith. All right? And that's why we call we call ourselves a faith-based Israelite. Without faith, nothing could be done. All right? Without faith, this, this ministry wouldn't be here. For by grace are ye saved through faith. That not of yourselves. It is the gift of Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. Not of works, lest any man should boast. So this is a gift from... The heavenly father and his only begotten son all right and that's what we ought to be thankful all right because we ain't save ourselves the lord pull us out of this this worm uh can of worms all right so amen and i'm going to finish up with verse 10 it said for we are the are his workmanship who workmanship all right yahweh shai's workmanship all right we are prophets of the lord okay created in hamashiach yahweh shai unto good works which yahweh had before it before ordained all right, from the foundations of the heaven, that we should walk in them. All right, and we should all to walk in righteousness to the best of our ability. All right, and just stay strong in the spirit. All right, and uh, put on the whole armor of the Lord to stand against the wiles of this wicked society and their meat and, and, their, and their attacks of of uh, enchantments and magic. All right, and their lies and the deception. Right, we ought to be thankful to Yahweh Shem Yashai for this truth and this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. On the end of by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of Great Millstorm who will well and teach you and lead in Israel by great example to this day. Peace and citation go to the elect, teaching and preaching this truth and his righteousness, purity, and sincerity. And waiting on Yahweh Shai, whom the one who called Jesus Christ for salvation. Shalom on Makim, stay strong in the spirit. We almost out of here with the salvation of Yahushua. Shalom on.